The second story I'm going to tell you is completely different and is not what we always think of around Gravitas. Lois and I know a guy named Gene, president of a division of a global financial company. The name is on one of the buildings in Sydney here. And Gene is, I got to tell you, one of the smartest guys I've ever met. He has horsepower under his hood that's huge. It's great to work with Gene. He's incredibly bright and challenging. He called me one day and he said that his alma mater, who he was very devoted to, was inviting him back to be the keynote speaker at the opening night of this big alumni weekend. Well, he'd been attending these alumni weekends for years, and he was now going to get to be the speaker. And he said to me, you know, would you come help me put my speech together? I went, oh, yeah, that sounds like fun. So we sit down together. I go, what do you want to talk about? And he says, well, you know, one of the things I want to talk about is this professor that I had. And he starts to tell me about the professor, and he chokes up. Now, you have to understand, Gene is the most analytical guy in the world. He lives up here. He does not live here. So when he got choked up, he surprised himself. I don't think he'd been choked up since he was probably a teenager, you know? So he just changed the subject, and I let him go, and that's fine. But about half an hour later, he works his way around. He talks about the professor again. He chokes up again, and then he goes, well, I guess I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> and I go, well, wait, why not? And he goes, well, I don't want to look foolish in front of everybody again. Well, now that started an argument that we had, of course, intellectual argument, right, because it's Gene. But we, we argued about that for several sessions. And I have to say, I won, that when he went, he talked about the professor. Now, you know, he's at this podium in an auditorium kind of this size, lots and lots of people, lots of adrenaline on his part. So it's not like he boo-hooed, but he did actually show some emotion, which for him was a big risk. So it's Friday night, after that there's a dinner, events all day Saturday, all day Sunday. People come up to him all weekend long to talk about his speech. What do you think they mention? His comments about the professor where he was touched. That's gravitas too. And it's not how we always think about gravitas, about showing our authentic self. But that's it too. So in terms of your toolkit, what are you going to add to it? Number one, and this is especially for you ladies, because this is one of the things that Shanti Feldhan found, is that men think that we take everything personally. Okay? It's, you could say it's just chess, or you can say it's just business. When you get feedback, you need to take it in, you need to listen to it, you need to decide what you're going to do with it. It's just business. So don't take things so personally. And I think what Tom is talking about, speaking from the heart. A lot of times when you get into executive positions, you think you have to be this certain way, that Gravitas doesn't have anything to do with speaking from the heart. And as the story that uh, Tom told you about, Gene, just the opposite is usually true. People are going to relate to you better if they know that you have heart.